Hello, hello everybody. This is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a super quick video. I'm going to announce the winner for my um, Slimline English Brick Wall Stencil. I accidentally purchased two of them and I shared in my last video that if you wanted to be entered for this giveaway, of course you needed to be a subscriber to my channel and reside in the U.S. And then you needed to leave a comment. There were 23 comments on that video. Two or three of you did not want to be entered. Um, and I used YouTube Random Comment Picker. And I will show you the winner in a moment. But before I do, I have another giveaway that I'm going to do in this video as well. And you're looking at one of the dies. I'm going to give away three die sets. They're all from uh, Memory Box, Poppy Stamps. They're the same company, just different branches of the company. So um, it'll be the same thing. You'll need to leave a comment on this video. I'll tell you what I want you to say in your comment. That way I know that you do want to be entered. And then um, again, you'll have to be a subscriber to my channel and reside in the US. Okay, so I use YouTube Random Comment Picker I put the um, link to my video in there and then it draws up the names. And it's so funny because in that video, I shared a box of beautiful gifts from my dear friend, Susan Lafferty. And she won that giveaway. And I don't think she's ever won any of my giveaways ever. So Susan writes, Hi Sybil, I'm so happy you like everything. It makes me smile to know that you have the things I made for you displayed in your craft room. Love the things you found and the cards you received. Big hugs for you, my sweet friend. Yay! So congratulations, Susan. You won the Slimline English Brick Wall Stencil. So I will get that in the mail to you. And now on to... My next order of business. So I have three die sets that I'm going to include and I'm going to put them all in this envelope because I no longer have the original packaging for the other two dies, but they are from the same company. So this is the pine wreath. You get four pine branches there and um, you can cut them apart if you want. It's easier just to leave them together and run it through your die, um, die machine. And then on this one, you see that it makes a small die if you, I mean, a small wreath if you just use the four. But they also layered and did two colors of green. So that's really cute. And then you can take, like, if you have stickles, like red stickles, you can make three dots here and here and here for, you know, berries. Or you can put little other little things, little tiny gingerbread, whatever, on that wreath. You can also cut out several of these and make a much larger wreath. So there's that. And then this is the um, poinsettia die set. So you've got the stem, the two leaves, and then you have five various sizes of poinsettias. And I do want you to know that all these petals cut out, but they don't form flowers. You'll have to glue the petals together to form the flower. So you'll need to glue all five points of the large, the medium, and the smaller ones. And then you can layer them as well. So really, really pretty die set there. And I've used it, I think, one time. And I've used this one time. And then I'm also going to include um, these leaves. I think they are, you know, um, like either ivy I think ivy leaves is what they are. So, oh, another thing you can do with this is you can cut these branches out and on your card, like you can make a border of pine branches rather than just a wreath. So if you would like to be entered in this little giveaway here, um, and if you know, um, if you're familiar with my channel, I've said through the years that Memory Box and Poppy Stamps. They're also Birch Press make their Birch Press is a division of that company. They also make dies, um, but they're really good quality dies, and they are some of my favorites. I love 
this company and their dyes. So um, just leave a comment, be sure and be a subs subscriber, live in the US, and just let me know, are you making Christmas cards yet or not? Have, and you know, do you make, just tell me about your Christmas cards. Do you buy store-bought cards? And that's totally cool. If you're a card maker and you know, you don't have time to make a whole bunch of Christmas cards to send out, that's totally fine. I just want to know, are you making Christmas cards? Are you getting your Christmas cards ready? Whether you're buying them from the store um, or you're hand making them, just let me know. You know, are you getting into the Christmas card making yet? That's it. And then um, today is Tuesday the 9th. I will close this this weekend and I will try my best to do the drawing at the beginning of next week. So either Monday or Tuesday. All right, that's it. Congratulations, Susan, and best wishes everybody who want to enter my little giveaway here. I will do some more Christmas card making giveaways coming up since tis the season. All right, bye for now, everybody.